When you have a lack of boundaries, it invites a lack of respect. Now, you fucking wasted my time today, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, wait, no, no. Because you're, I'm relaxed, you're I'm relaxed, I'm relaxed. Listen to what I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. This is getting nobody anywhere. Exactly, and that's why, why the you fuck I'm leaving this place. You're you fucking wasting my time. You, you, thank you and no thank you. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Now we are gonna be relating this to Blue Therapy and episode three. The issue here is the lack of boundaries. There's a lack of boundaries when it comes to how one another speak to each other because Paul was hella disrespectful to the professional, to Chioma, from the swearing. It, it was just too much for me. Now, again, I always say, if someone can speak to you in public in that manner, it's likely that this is going on at home. Let's just talk about the fact that Chioma called his sister the B word. Ideally, we should have a better relationship than we do now. But because she's such a bitch, let's go, let's we, go. we don't get along. Let's go. And Paul does not defend me. In the sense of being a couple, this is where from the jump, the first time this behavior happened, you and Paul should have sat down and you should have said, hey, this can't run, <laughs> okay? That's where a conversation with the sister needed to happen. You can't just allow things to drift and drag onwards and onwards because you're gonna enable bad behavior from the person. And this is how mistreatment happens. And this is how resentment builds in. Out of the love that you have for me, you should love them the same and you should look after them because you what? love me. Now, for me personally, that was a step too far. It's like holding someone over a barrel. That doesn't qualify my love for you. That is just nonsense, okay? Chioma, the first thing you need to do is decide if you haven't got the time to be looking after those kids or you don't desire to look after those kids, you need to speak up. I'm not a mum. I feel as though of recent, I've been sacrificing a lot of my time to look after kids that are not mine. And the real mum is having fun. That's just my issue. And it happens many, many times. There is no other woman that should be able to walk into your home and dictate whether that is his sister, his mum, or whatever. And I know some people will feel like, oh no, in our culture, certain things run. But this is the issue when we are trying to do things a little bit out of order. Sometimes when you buy a house with your boyfriend before you're engaged even, it kind of disrupts the order to things. Now, in all fairness, this can be a reason why also his sister may just think she can waltz into that house and leave her children there and here and that because yes, it's her brother's home as well as your home, but you've not really set a boundary. And of course, Paul hasn't addressed it with his sister. So again, it's just gonna continue. You have to teach people how to treat you. Has Deborah met your family? Um... Jamal? <laughs> um, not yet. We've yeah. been together for a year. Yeah. Surely I should have met your family. Is this a problem for you? 100%. Um, it makes me feel like he's a Ken, not serious. Because I knew that, you know, Jamel's the guy for me. Yeah. I made sure that he met my parents three months in. Because of a lack of boundaries in some way, you may end up in a situation like Deborah, where 13 months into your relationship, you still have not met his family, you still don't really know if they know much about you. Now, have your parents questioned whether you have a girlfriend or um, have they asked any questions? A couple questions here and there, but I kind of... And what have you said? I've not played it down. I said, I'm, I'm seeing someone. Okay. Yeah, so they know somebody's there. But like... So now we're seeing each other oh, now. Gosh. Deborah has allowed this young man for 13 months not to bring her to his family home. Now, I suspect there's reasons for that. One, Jamal just is not sure about Deborah. Two, Jamel doesn't know if his mum is gonna be able to read through Deborah and see that this girl is going to eat my son's small resources, his small finances alive. And therefore, no, I don't like this girl. And mums know things. Mums can see things quickly. And boys and children, we all know that our parents can read our friends pretty accurate most of the time. Now, three, this guy has got 
other interests. And four, when their own family life isn't quite what your family life looks like. Now, Deborah may come from a background where her parents and family, they all get along. Family life is quite stable and consistent. And maybe Jamal just doesn't come from that household. Maybe there's issues in his household, which it's complicated and very difficult for him to bring Deborah into. So there could be many reasons and guys, there could be hundreds more. But what I wanna highlight is the fact that Deborah has allowed this behavior to go on. So best thing, set some boundaries early on, say what you're okay with, say what you're not okay with and make sure you state a consequence. If someone keeps doing that same behavior and you really don't like it, you need to actually have a consequence so that they know, listen, if you keep that up, there's going to be a consequence to that. And whether that is that something happens or you don't be with them, whatever the consequence is, you have to decide what you can and can't tolerate. Now, I don't know about you, if you are a parent, how you would feel about your little girl dating a young man who doesn't want to bring her home to his parents after 13 months. Me personally, no. No way. My, there is no way that I would encourage my daughter to accept that. And again, I can't tell my daughter what to do, but I would not be encouraging this only because after six months, normally a guy is pretty sure if you are the woman who he wants to marry. And by then, he definitely would be making some attempts or taking some action to make sure you have met his key people because he wants to get their feedback about you. That's just the facts. So if you are a secret, or if you are unknown to his core key people in his life, there's the problem. So you need to set a boundary early. And if you haven't set the boundary, set one now. And actually make sure you have a consequence. If it doesn't happen by when, this is over. Because I am not, you have to have enough worth and value to recognize that you don't deserve to be anyone's little hidden secret, unless you want to be the secret and you don't mind, because maybe you're the side chick. But, oh yeah, another reason that Jamel could be hiding her is that there's another main chick, okay? And I am just saying this because, guys, there are many people who think they're in a relationship and they are the side chick. Now, I'm not saying this is Deborah or Jamel, but I'm just giving out some reasons for anyone who's out there thinking, Lord, I'm in a similar situation and I'm not sure why I'm the secret. You could be the side chick. That is just the truth. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss another video each and every time I upload. Take care, guys, and God bless. Bye.